Lexus finally has an all-electric vehicle, the RZ450e. I'm Tom Volk for EV Universe, and electrification really does suit Lexus well. It's quiet, smooth, and powerful. The SUV crossover design is what sells these days. Lexus is giving buyers what they want. Size-wise, this slots in between the RX and the NX inside and out. The RZ and the Toyota BZ4X share an architecture. This should surprise no one. Their wheelbases are the same, but the Lexus is nearly five inches longer and almost two inches wider. As tested, this one's $63,400 and is not eligible for the federal tax credit. Check with your state. It's a loaded premium model with the optional 20-inch wheels. That drops the estimated range from 220 miles to 196. That's with a liquid-cooled 71.4 kilowatt-hour lithium-ion pack, 63.4 usable, which is positioned in the floor where you'd expect. RZ450e is strictly dual-motor all-wheel drive, at least for now. Like the BZ4X, there's no frunk. The 150-kilowatt front motor and 80-kilowatt rear unit combine for 308 horsepower. That's compared to 214 for the BZ4X. RZ's estimated total torque is 320 pound-feet. Fire it up. And there's a small screen with graphics that'll be familiar to the Lexus faithful. This is a single-speed transmission. The selector is simple and sure. Recuperation drag can be added or subtracted using these. There are drive modes. Sport burns up the pack fastest. Range does everything to conserve the battery, including turning off the climate control. I drove in normal and eco. The RZ is more powerful than the BZ4X, but this is not the fastest EV you can buy. Lexus says zero to 60 happens in five seconds flat. The reality is this is plenty of power for everyday driving. It really is. And if you haven't experienced an electric vehicle before, the instant torque makes them feel faster than they are. That's the case here. RZ's main competitors are Audi Q4 e-tron, Cadillac Lyric, Genesis GV60 and GV70 Electrified, Jaguar I-Pace, remember that one? And of course, Tesla Model Y. With recuperation all the way off, this thing will coast like your best Hot Wheel. Dial it all the way in. And there is definitely more drag, but you do need to use your foot to make this come to a complete stop. Not sure if that'll change in the future with software update, but for now, that's the way it is. While this is an SUV, I don't see many owners off-roading it. For a number of reasons, RZ is better as a city vehicle. Ground clearance is decent at 7.9 inches. There's the slightly raised ride height that comes with the form factor. Heavy batteries in the floor means a lower center of gravity. So bend this into a corner hard and it takes it just fine. Just remember, this is a Lexus, so the suspension is set towards comforts. That's on point for the brand, come on. Hit big pavement cracks, and those will somewhat work their way into your backside. Don't forget this is wearing lower profile tires on the larger wheels, so there's less isolation from the nasty stuff. 450E is Lexus hushed. At highway speed, all that's really heard is wind off the side view mirrors, and in sport mode, a faint performance sound. Frankly, I'm kind of surprised that Lexus hasn't done an EV before because it really works with the mission of the brand. It's powerful, it's quiet, everything you'd expect a Lexus to be. Also expected is the Lexus suite of ADAS technology. The list is long. I had no chance to test the automatic emergency braking. That's a good thing. The adaptive cruise and lane keeping worked well during a 90 mile drive in the rain move to the luxury model for traffic jam assist. As far as range goes, Cadillac Lyric all-wheel drive is estimated at 307 miles, Genesis GV60, 248, I-Pace, 246, Tesla Model Y long range, 330. With 20-inch rubber, RZ450e brings up the rear at 196. 
I did not see that number. In somewhat of a torture test, I drove this mostly highway miles in the rain at a temperature of around uh, 50, 55, and I saw 150 miles of range. Mm. Stick with the 18 inch wheels for 20 more miles of travel. One option for the Lexus faithful, both the RX and NX can be had as plug-in hybrids if you want an electrified Lexus for easy long distance traveling. I did a second range test with little to no rain, temperatures in the low 50s, 40 miles of city driving, all in eco mode, and saw 165 miles, if you're wondering. The shorter range of the RZ450e isn't helped by its DC fast charging speed. The max take rate is 150 kilowatts, so Cadillac, Genesis, and Tesla have the edge there. A fully spent pack can juice from 80% in 30 minutes in ideal conditions. It's why I feel the city is the RZ's natural habitat. Lexus seems to be well aware of this shortcoming and offers 30 days of free Lexus car rental over the span of three years, you know, in case you want a road trip and don't want to deal with stuff like this. Now, I have to point out that if you can charge at home and you don't road trip often, then charging speed and range don't matter as much. Know your needs. Its onboard charger is rated at 6.6 .6 kilowatts, lower than its competitors. Using 240 volt, 32 amp home level two, it charges overnight, takes around nine and a half hours. The ambiance of the RZ450e is clean and simple, formal yet casual. If you or women in your life shop at Eileen Fisher, you'll recognize the vibe that Lexus designers were going for. The gauge cluster positioning is more traditional than the setup in the BZ4X. The leather wheel is heated, so are the chairs, vented too. There are the usual places to stash things away. The console makes it easy for both driver and passenger to get into. Uh, there is no glove box, but this space makes up for that. And now you know what I had for lunch on shoot day. The releases are linked to sensors and doors won't open if the system detects vehicles or cyclists approaching. It can be overridden by pulling outward. If you haven't heard about the new Lexus user interface, it's a huge improvement over the old wonky trackpad. It largely uses natural voice prompts. Let's give it a navigation challenge. You use the phrase, hey Lexus. What do you want to do? Is there any good Baba Ganoush around? I found 15 results. The first is Sinbad Express at Fremont Place North. Would you like to go to that one? Yes, sure. Lots of physical controls for those refusing to chat up Hell 9000's girlfriend. The Qi Pad does a good job of charging my iPhone. And there's wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, along with digital key technology. The back seat is roomier than the one found in the BZ4X, so it's a more Lexus-like experience in back. Go with the luxury model, and there's heated seats in the rear. It's a comfortable space. As for cargo, there's space under the load floor to stash the security cover and supply dual voltage charge cord. Seats up, you're looking at a solid 24 cubic feet, so an easy seven carry-on suitcase score. Drop the backs and there's 55 cubic feet to fill. The RZ does the chores. Range and charging speed will turn some buyers off, but not all. The RZ450e might be perfect for Lexus loyalists that charge at home and don't intend to travel cross country on a regular basis. It's an EV with all the qualities you'd expect from the brand. Produced in limited numbers, check with your local Lexus dealership to see if they have one to test drive. For EV Universe, I'm Tom Volk.